Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies Bangalore. In this CAD Power video, I will show you a tool which is very useful for manufacturing industry, especially for those who are involved in using a knife cutter or similar cutting device around a closed boundary. Now, if you go to the CAD Power menu under Draw Tools, under Rule Based, you can see there is a command here called Draw Tool Cutting Path Around a Closed Boundary. You can also call this command from the command line by typing CP underscore Curve Analyzer. So this is basically a tool which will analyze a profile curve for its deflection and radius and suggest an optimized tool path for cutting the profile. Now you can see here that you can either have outside or inside cut for the region. So when you say outside cut, for example, this outside spline, if I'm doing an outside cut, the cutting portion will be outside and the retained portion will be inside. If you're doing an inside cut, for example, in this case, the cut portion will be inside and you will end up with something like an island. So accordingly, you need to choose properly whether you want to cut outside or inside. So let us start with the outside cut first. There are a number of options here, some of which you may not need to change at all. And you can just leave the default options for now. So create offset and accept points along the curve. The accept points along the curve are those where the radius is above the specified limit and wherever the radius is less than the specified limit the offset points are created which means if the curve has a sharp deflection and if the subtended radius at the center becomes less than the allowed minimum radius then it is going to create the offset points where the cutting path or the knife will go along the offset and not take a sharp turn at a radius. The other operating parameters are as follows. Part name. The part name is something that is used along with the output name. The output is a DXF file. So when you enter a part name as say underscore A, the output name becomes test2 which is the drawing name underscore A dot DXF. There is also another output created which is a CSV file of all the coordinates and that file will have a name test2 underscore a dot csf. So this program creates two outputs, a DXF file and a CSV file. The other parameter that you need to consider is distance along the curve to check the pattern. So I'm going to put this as 0.5. Now 0.5 is as per the drawing unit. So whatever is your drawing unit, you need to enter that value here. This value determines the interval along the curve at which the sampling is done. So the program logic works in this way. It takes three points which are distant apart by 0.5 and the resulting arc is then checked for its radius and if the radius is less than a specified value then it is marked for offset. If it is greater than a specified value it is marked as an accepted point. So the allowed minimum radius between check distance, this is what you need to enter correctly here. So I'm going to enter this as 50 in this case. Distance along the curve to create points for linear portion. This is an internal parameter. I suggest you leave it approximately 10 times more than the distance along the curve to check pattern. Maximum offset distance allowed between curve and the tool turning point. What this means is that when you are cutting a shape, there is an offsetted polyline or spline it creates and this parameter specifies the offset. In this case, I'm going to specify it as 20, which means this outside line will be offset by 20. Pick origin point. This is important for CSV files. If you need to have all the points based on the origin, then you can pick some point here. Say for example, I'm going to pick this point as the origin. So all the points along this curve will be measured in X and Y from this origin. At the bottom of this dialog box, you also have post processor options. Checking this runs only the post processor. So initially you have to leave it unchecked so that we run the full command. Running the post processor is useful only after the cutting path has been created in case you want to do some manual editing. 
so we leave it as it is as default and just click OK select a curve to analyze I'm going to select this outside curve now you can see that it has already started the processing the green portion is where the radius is above 50 and the magenta portion here is where the radius is less than 50 as per that the curve has been created now so it's marking the points first and once that is done it will apply a number of checks and create the deflected curve so you get a dialog box here which gives you some statistics total curve length is 1057 ok length is 859 not ok length is 191 so the acceptance ratio is the ratio of these two which is 81.25 percent so click ok now you can see that it has created the offset spline as well which has an offset distance of 20 and mind you that we have used the outside offset so this offset line is outside the curve that we want to process which is the magenta line here so now if you zoom in with your mouse wheel and pan around you can see that the green line is the actual cutting path for the tool and you can see that wherever the radius is less than the stipulated value which is 50 it has created an offset point by moving along the tangent and then it marks a turning point which is within this offset distance and then from this turning point it then calculates the next projected point on the curve and so on so that is how it defines or creates a complete tool path which is as per the stipulated radius condition now in this case the program seems to have done a good job so my curve looks okay but in some cases it could have made some mistakes and you need to be able to correct it manually for this purpose we have also provided a post processing adjustment option where you can see there are several options here like inner, outer, manual, undo, both, none, exit and so on. So in this case I'm just going to accept the results as it is. I'm not going to run the post processing option. I'll just show you a little while later in this video. So I press enter and exit the command. Now if I go to my folder I can see that there is a DXF file here and there is a CSV file so if I double click on the CSV file it's going to open up in Excel so you can see that the CSV file contains all the coordinates of my cutting path as per the specified origin now if, I, if I'm going to open this DXF file so that's my DXF file that is exactly what you saw in this drawing as well so this is the same polyline what you see here so this is my cutting path and I have it as a DXF file and a CSV file now this is how the outside cutting process works now let's see how the inside cutting process works so once again I go to cat power draw rule based draw tool cutting path around a closed boundary this time I'm going to choose inside and I'm going to change my DXF file suffix as underscore i so I get test2 underscore i dot txf this is for the inside cut I'm going to leave the distance along curve to check pattern as 0.5 this is 5 the distance along the curve to create points the offset distance I need to decrease in this case because I want to use this for my inside cutting and this is obviously much smaller than the outside one so 7.5 looks like a reasonable value now for the inside cutter since it is small I'm going to reduce the allowed minimum radius between check distance to 25 and I'm going to now click on this so it is doing the same process here for inside as well and it has done it already and you can see the original curve length is 273 cutting length is 267 so you can now click OK on this and now you can see that for my magenta line which is my inside curve this is the green line the inside curve for the cutting path of the tool and this yellow line here is the offset distance which is 7.5 from the curve now let us look at the post processing adjustment option so when you are running the inside method you have only the manual undo none and exit so I'm going to check 
the manual option here so if I click on M specify manual option for processing here I have insert move delete none and exit as my options here now you could do some manual editing with these cutting path if you didn't like exactly what the program has created for example I type I or I can just select I here pick location for new point to add so I'm going to pick a new point here so the moment I picked a new point you can see that initially there were 48 points updated number of points is 49 initial length is 267.41 and updated length is 267.9 so due to the addition of this point these are the changes that happened in the curve now as soon as these changes happened the program has also exported this as a DXF file and a CSV file. So those two exports get updated dynamically. Now let's go back again to manual and I'm going to choose the M option which is for move and I'm going to select this point and I'm just going to move it somewhere here. So moving that point has resulted in number of points being the same but the length has again slightly changed. And again if you go to your folder you can see that this CSV files get updated dynamically each time you do a manual edit here. So similarly there's a delete option. So I'm going to type M for manual, D for delete. So let's say I'm going to choose this point which I created just now. So it's deleted. So we are back again from 49 to 48 points. So that point is gone. So this is how you use the post processing option to edit your curves so that you can do a manual editing after the program has completed its normal course of operations. So that's how the CP underscore curve analyzer command works. Do let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you for watching this video.